Okay, Mike, here we are. We've gone through all this other stuff to talk about, you know, books and movies and cinephile stuff, but let's face it, Christmas isn't Christmas unless you have stuff, right? Yeah. Stuff, um, stuff that, that doesn't, is not media. Stuff that's not media. So we're going to have a non-media portion of the gift guide here, and, uh... Uh, we're going to start by talking about my sweater. You have not complimented my sweater. I cannot believe you have not complimented this sweater. What is this sweater? This sweater is a Krampus sweater. And how do I look? Can they see me? Uh, yeah, they can see you. All right. This is a Krampus sweater from Middle of Beyond. Uh, and they make all sorts of sweaters like this. The difference is their sweaters are really nice and thick and they really keep you warm and they're really really worth having and they make pillows and pillow covers and uh just all sorts of blankets and stuff so if you want to theme your house my house is themed after the shining and it's themed after uh krampus during the holidays so that's what i do well, how, how much does this run there? this usually will run you about uh about eighty dollars um, you know, so it's a nicer christmas uh thing if you're gonna buy yeah. it for somebody i think you would win Ugly sweater. Oh yes, yeah. no, absolutely. Especially yeah. at church. Yeah. I think you probably win your your ugly Christmas situation there. Um, but we also have some other stuff that's way less expensive that actually I'm equally excited about. So we got I saw these things here. What are these? They're like little cereal boxes. They are like little cereal boxes. Um and Is there and cereal inside this? There's not cereal. You could try to eat this. I don't think the milk would make it go soft. Um, you probably wouldn't want that. These are from Retro Go Go. Yeah. These are from Retro Go Go, and they are enamel pins based wow. on the original monster cereals of the 19. 70s and 80s. And is, they bring these back every year. Is only Count Chocula still around? Uh, they do Count Chocula for sure. And I think they do Frankenberry and um, uh, uh, and even Booberry in limited amounts. But, you know, you get this cool box. You know, there we go. Cool box. And then if you open it up, you get the pin. And these are really nice pins. They cost about 10 bucks a piece. Um, and I was really excited to get them because... I used to, you know, eat that stuff when I was a kid. And they also have a lot of other cool pins. Um, Mike, do you have any enamel pins? I have no enamel pins. You know, it's weird to me. Enamel pins are such a big thing now. Everybody uh, and their brother out there is making them. And, uh, God, i got to have about like 50 or 60 of them at this point. Um, this one is also based on something from my childhood. Uh, the x-ray glasses that you used to be able to buy in wow. the back of comic books. Uh, I really, really uh, love enamel pins. And uh, someday, um, you know, I'll have enough to cover an entire tuxedo. And I'll, I'll you know, that'll be People my calling card. Put them card. on their book bags. I can use it to brand myself for about the last year of my life because that's how long it's going to take me to cover a tuxedo. What? Wow. People put them on their book bags. They can brand themselves. You could use them to brand yourself, but um, that's another whole episode, I think. Uh, if we're gonna if we're gonna do that, well, that's really all we have. Bring more stuff. We have no more stuff. Are you kidding? Me? No. Well, I hope that people enjoyed this episode. I hope they did too. Thanks and happy holidays, everybody. Bye, things.